Okay, so here we have a stomach, basically, ventriculus of a Canada goose. There's the rest of the Canada goose right there. Guess I should have warned you. So, uh, Emily, show us the, uh, uh, can you pull up the, sort of the outflow portion? Okay, so that's the pyloric portion right there. So that's the outflow part. And how about the, the inflow part, the, the sort of the um, glandular part of the ventriculus and the esophagus. And so, Emily pulled it, we've actually opened it up. So she slid it open and pulled out a ton of grass um, or other plant material uh, from there. This thing is all muscle. There's actually muscles uh, forming this bridge and then there's muscles that actually pass underneath this bridge. Um, so go ahead and open that thing up now. So Emily popped this thing open and you can just see all of the, the muscle that's forming this thing. And uh, show the two sets of cuticular uh, portions, the cuticula. And so these are basically horny pads. So this guy is chewing with its stomach and you can actually see the edges of these things if I come in a little bit. You can actually see this is a hard horny pad right there that in a sense um, occludes with that other horny pad right there and they basically will chew up the plant uh, stuff that was in there. So we washed this out but there was all kinds of grit um, and little uh, small stones in here too. And so these are herbivores that are taking fairly coarse vegetation um, like grass and, and grain and things like that and they chuck it down, comes in um, and then just basically gets chewed up in this area right in here. Cool. Can you actually sort of uh, put these sides together maybe a little bit? Yeah. So you can sort of see how much muscle. These are in a sense the masticatory, the chewing muscles, um, which is pretty impressive. Go ahead and close that up, Emily. And that is the stomach, or the ventriculus, of a goose.